Are you guys tired of wasting your money on packs? Then check out my sponsor, MMO EXP. They have by far the cheapest Madden 21 coins. And make sure you use code BANGZY for 5% off at checkout as well as use the link in the top of the description. Helps out the channel a lot and I appreciate you boys. Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? How are we doing? I hope you guys are fantastic. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, I'm not already. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below. Helps the channel a lot, helps me grow. Also, it just means a lot to me and it really would be appreciated. So, most feared uh, scary strong drop today. And that means, guys, I went ahead, hopped on, and figured out a coin making method right away for you guys. Kind of the same thing as my last one, but a little different. Uh, so we're going to go over it. So, obviously, if you guys didn't know the new sets, the new cards that they did end up releasing, uh, Scary Strong, they released a Jim Brown and Aaron Donald. Uh, the other ones are the same, 90 overall, Scary Strong, 85 to 87, you do the 283s, 281. Same, same exact thing as last time. This actually might be somewhat problem. I haven't looked at low overall scary strongs they don't seem to go for a ton more but the scary strongs do go for more than the scary sharps because of this man right here aaron donald and people like jim brown these 92s are more they're better cards than the other ones as well as they're harder to pull because in the rerolls and stuff it's scary strong and scary sharp at the same time so kind of both have actually gone up in price uh, a little bit which is going to go ahead and play into our coin making method so we're going to hop into it i'm going to show you guys uh, exactly what you guys need to be doing to do it it's going to be kind of similar we're going to be completing the aaron donald set getting cheap treats uh to the point where if we open up that 85 plus pack it's going to be guaranteed profit every single pack granted this does take time and if you get lucky it's going to be the same also clue mac is still in packs so you can still pull clue mac and all that good stuff so we're going to go right here, and we're going to see the 92 Aaron Donald and Jim Brown and stuff like that. See the prices are, and you can probably do this if you want to do it with Scary Sharp as well. You just pretty much just need to be, make sure that what you're doing is getting uh, the, the candy versus uh, the treats as cheap as possible. You see, like, uh, Trooper Ball is going to be like 300, and I think his power is going to be like 330. So he'd be like 330. So if you could complete the set for about... 300 ish to 315 ish k you'd have to snipe some do that and see like russell wilson go for like 310 uh i don't know if the scary strongs are going to stay as high as they are uh i would imagine they might see jim brown's going for like 380 but it's perhaps like 70k if we go right here scroll down aaron donald's like 490 so 490 and we can complete this set if you snipe correctly so if you get him for 490 then you can sell his power up for like 8k uh, obviously his power up isn't expensive as jim browns because he's been in the game for breako uh 87 we see most feared 87s are going for a little bit more and then the very strong ones are going for even more you see they're going for around 70k obviously you want to filter this down strong safety and fullback and snipe like that but what i have come up with is a little thing where if you do it correctly so if you want to try to get these guys for 65k a pop right 65k you get them for less you're going to be making making more coins but if you get them for 65 you're going to be making coins 65 times five because you need five if you want to create both the 90 heroes and as well as put one in for the set it's going to cost you 325,000 coins all right so we're already down 325,000 now they're going to go right here. You're going to go to the 85s because you need to five scary strongs as well for the 85s. Uh, and you see they're going for around like 30-ish K. Uh, and I, it's not so much I buy them for. Obviously, if you want to snipe them for less, again, you're going to be making more coins if you do. But we're going to do 30K just for easiness. So 30 times 5 is 150,000. If we go ahead and take those and combine them, boom. Plus, don't worry, I have numbers on the screen for you guys. 475,000. So it costs us 475,000 to complete it. When we complete the Aaron Donald set, we can sell everything for about 500,000. Plus, the tax are risking 450,000. So that means we spent 475,000. When we sell the stuff, we're going to be getting back 400, um, 450,000. So we took a minus of 25,000 coins, which you're thinking, well, we lost profit on the set. Yes, but you get 750 candy, all right? So we take 750, right? You're gonna do 750 divided by 25,000. So you can see how much candy each things cost, or no, 25,000 divided by 750, 33.33. So each candy or each treat you bought from doing the set was 33 coins, pretty much, 33 coins. So 33 coins, cool, all right. So that's the cheapest treat you're gonna be able to get. If we go to this, we go over here to most feared, 450 uh candy or treats all right so let's figure out how much this pack would cost 450 plus 33.33 so that means each one is oh no 450 times 33.33 each one's gonna be about 15,000. well we just saw that the cheapest one you're gonna pull is going for around 28,000. so if you do the set you open the pack sell the stuff in the packs you're gonna make guaranteed profit all right i mean grand you need to make your 25k back 
you're going to be able to open up at least uh one or two packs but obviously the more you're going to open this the better it's going to be pretty much you're getting this pack for very very cheap all right that's pretty much all there is to it i'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh and i would also what you could do is if you get a lot if you do this a lot get a lot of training a lot of treats you could almost just quick sell uh the 85s and then the 87 uh and the 90 scary sharps and keep the scary strongs as the scary strong strongs are going for more uh, but let's go and see. Let's go and please that. I did buy the Quentin Nelson because I saw him for a cheapish price. I would recommend not buying the 90s. The 90s are super expensive. They're like 220. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add him in here. Add in uh, Mr. Tri Trey Turner. Okay, it looks like I actually need to buy one more 85. Thought I bought enough, but we're gonna need to buy one more 85 to complete the set. So we're just gonna go ahead. And, uh, you guys will see me cut to that. But boom, we're gonna put in Landon Collins. Put in the 85, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, go grab one more 85 off the block. I was going to do that real quick for purposes. I don't really care what the price is. 32k, whatever. We'll buy it for 32. Really, you want to buy that for less, but we'll take it, whatever. It's not the end of the world. Obviously, you want to filter it down, and get those for cheaper. So, boom. Go ahead and put Dexter Lawrence in there. Boom. Scary sharp. Awesome. All right, so here we go. We got our 90 overall fantasy. We're gonna pick the other one. Uh, easily gonna pick him, and then we're gonna do this uh, Aaron Donald set. And like I was saying, so you're taking a 25k loss, but the least thing you're gonna pull is going for about 28 if you pull a 85 overall scary sharp. So obviously, and you're gonna get a little bit of extra treats. Obviously, you're gonna get like 300. So the next time you do it, you're gonna have uh, probably to open up two. So the more you do it over and over again, the more coins you're gonna make, especially if you can get lucky on your rerolls. Uh, but you're not gonna lose anything as long as you check the price beforehand. So if they let's say like Aaron Donald goes down, but the scary strong players stay around the same price, then you're probably gonna be more risking it. But it's still not a huge risk if you do it multiple times because you're obviously gonna eventually pull something good out of the. Um, the reroll, uh, as long as you can pull the clear mag and stuff like that, you can pull uh, any of the scary strongs that go for a ton. So, we're gonna quick sell these two bad boys right here, get our 750 treats, go ahead and put Aaron Donald up on the auction house. Uh, we're gonna be able to do two rerolls because I already had a little bit of extra candy again. So, if you've like already I have a little extra treats and stuff like that, I keep saying candy, but you know, treats, candy, whatever, if you've extra treats, like I'm gonna put up two. So, the next time I'm only gonna go up one, but the next time we will open up two and stuff like that. Uh, and if you get lucky, you get lucky. Like, let's see, Aaron Donald probably still going, hopefully, for around four. So, 450, obviously, he's going to he just dropped way down in price. So, you can still sell for 480. So, that means, let's see, if you sell him for 480, because I think that's how much you're going to be able to sell him for. There's not a ton up here. Say 480, right? Let's do a quick little math. 480,000 uh, plus his uh, 8,000 power that you got. So, 488,000 minus 48,000. Uh, so you're getting 440,000. You spent what 475,000. So minus that, we're gonna see. So you're spending 35,000. Uh, so you're losing like 10 coins. So this one it does make it a little bit risky if he's only going around for 480. Uh, but again, if you do it again, you're gonna get two of them. So let's say you do it three. You say you do it two times, you're gonna get three packs. You're gonna lose. 70,000 you're gonna get three packs out of it and each one is gonna be 25 so 25 50 75 obviously so the more you do it obviously the, if you do just do it once not gonna be super super um profitable obviously if you do it more and more if you're still going for around 480 because you do get the 750 you're gonna be fine you're gonna still be able to make coins so do this while this lasts because these prices are probably gonna go down but so are the scary sharp cards i would imagine the scary sharp cards are also gonna go down as well as him so it's probably gonna be just uh check to see how expensive the scary sharps are and uh it should go down accordingly with them so he's only going for, he's probably only going for like 7k uh whatever that's like 1k not a huge difference but again you do this over and over again you're gonna get enough treats to where you're gonna be making coins especially if you pull anything good out of the reroll. if you do just pull eight straight 85s you're pretty much gonna be breaking even so it is a little risky if you guys are wanting to do this if you guys do it a bunch you can get a lot of treats uh we're gonna go ahead and open up my two pack see what i get hopefully i can get something good um probably just gonna get 285s but i'll be cool with that it really is not the biggest deal if i do because i feel like at 285s i'll still be making a little bit of coins uh when you really start making coins is when you do get good luck in the 85 pluses so we're hoping for an 87 uh plus scary strong that's what we're wanting so let's see this is fine as long as it's scary strong 87 scary strong 70k right there boom may definitely make coins and we still have one more uh yeah so just like that you can pull that boom 70k uh you're gonna make like 35k right there as we get another small one and it is an 87 scary strong 140k right there 
so yeah i would definitely hop onto this while you guys can take advantage of it while it's in packs right now uh because obviously the price is probably gonna go down but if the price of the scary strongs go down and the price like the jim brown and aaron Donald go down as long as they go down together it's still gonna be very easy to make coins on this hope it was helpful hope you guys can hop onto it make some coins and i'll catch you guys in the next one